evening. Chapter 4, Battle to Save the World. Hey, Rosalind, can I talk with you a sec? Hey guys, welcome back to Harvestella. You know, since we've been to see each of the four seas light now, what about them? I mean, what's the next step? Uh, I'd like to go over what we found. One thing they all have in common is that something alien appeared nearby. I know I've said it a bunch already, but they really look a lot like products of my time. The Heaven's Egg near the Spring Seas Light was a laboratory that built a dragon defense system. And there was Lorelei, the Summer Seas Light, along with the Philosophical Flame, a source of crystallized energy. Winter Seas Light had the Automata, which the Patriarch used to hypnotize the hearts of his people. More than just coincidence. So we have time and space rifts at the Seas Light? Agreed, this could be a string of related incidents. Not to mention the Seas Light itself, which looks just like the Red Queen that brought chaos to my time. The weird part is, more and more of those objects keep appearing in this time. It feels like someone has an agenda and is causing weird time distortions and time slips to happen. Is it really just coincidence that I'm wrapped up all in all of it too? Sorry, I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's where my mind is at right now. But who would stand to gain from that? What, what, what have I got in mind? That much I don't know. There was something that's been bugging me ever since we destroyed Lorelei and Shatola. Hein and I met an omen while we were investigating Lorelei's relic. He said his name was Geist. Why'd you keep that secret? I didn't mean to, honestly. I just wanted to let it percolate for a bit. But that Geist seemed awfully well informed. Whether he's the one behind all of this remains to be seen, but there's no denying he's totally in on it. Hmm. Geist. Does hearing it ring any bells? Yeah, Dianthus, at the very beginning of the game, told us about Geist. I can't let you take this human, Dianthus. I've been ordered to take it to Geist. You mean the omen that was after me back then was Geist? But if that's true, back then, wasn't he... Hmm. That's strange. Did he even know the he the person he was looking for? Like, what she looked like? None of this makes any sense. The only thing we can do is march up to him and demand he tells us what the deal is face to face. He won't be easy to find. He flies around on an airship, right? Appearing out of nowhere like a ghost? I just want to go home. I need to give Mom and Dad the data I got on the Red Queen. Thank you for sharing what you know. Let's get some sleep. Good night. So now we're trying to hunt down Geist? I suppose, to figure out what, what the idea is behind all of this. He, every time we have a Seas Light thing, it's like he, ha he has something to say that we've we've destroyed something or someone has failed, so I'm... I am interested to see what the next step is. Okay. Some commotion outside to check out. What do we got going on? Still in autumn. We shouldn't have another fairy. Commotion over in that direction. Oh, okay. Go check it out. Everything is bright. Why are the crystals so bright? Yeah, they're not usually that bright, are they? We have a cave open up. What's gonna be down here? Ooh, it's another place to farm, guys. <gasps> okay, so I've been seeing some cave crops pop into our inventory recently. So this must be our, our, our location for cave crops. Oh, we got caught already. I wanted to prepare a showy speech first. Oh, who cares about that? Now we can show off our work. I couldn't wait for this moment. Well, well, how is it? This is the cave biome we made. Did you two make this? So the Earth Fairy from the Winter Seas Light helped out? We sure did. We can't let those two show us up. We can make biomes too, you know. In this cave biome, you can grow plants on dry land. Yep, yep. How is it? I think it looks very great fairy-esque, wouldn't you say so? Yeah, with the waterfall and everything? Of course, are you kidding me? Ah, is that it? Are you gonna even reward us with like, I don't know, triple snacks or something? 
ask Arya. <laughs> Arya, but she's so stingy. Anyway, this means you'll now be able to grow crops that you couldn't grow before, so take care of them. And just so you know, the crops you grow in here provide dry land, so there's no need to water them. I love that! So both the water biome and the cave biome don't require watering, which is fantastic. That's right, keep it dry as a desert in here. And those veggies will grow up to be tough and strong. Do you really want vegetables to be tough, though? Hmm, <laughs> cave biome! You can use biomes during spring, summer, and fall. Oh, so no winter access. Interesting. Let's go ahead and activate our cave biome here. I'm gonna go ahead and save too. Wow, so we got a brand new place. I think I have some seeds. Let's see, I think, cave crop. Okay, this one, revol pepper seeds. We can plant those, ready in four days. Let's see here, I think, yes. Pepper seeds we can plant. What else? That's a waterside crop. Islet watermelon. There it is. That's the last one I was looking for. Curry herb. Harvest in six days. I think we can plant those too. Let's go ahead and get those in the ground. Oh, it's so exciting to have a new spot. And I've got some new side quests popping up behind my head there. Let's use Thule to go ahead and get some spots made. Can I, can I, do I just plant? Do I not have to hoe in here either? Ooh, interesting. Can I just, I just plant? <gasps> you don't have to use Thule in here. That's awesome. So even less stamina required to take care of this new biome. We'd love to see it, guys. Let's pop the peppers down here. And our curry herbs. Oh, that's so exciting. No rocks to clear, no watering to do. By the way, I did figure out that to clear the boulders, you have to do some of the fairy orders that are in the book inside the house. That's what I was missing last time. Okay, and I also got some lump potato, lump potato, lump potato that I need to plant outside. So let's go back to the farm and we'll be taking care of all of these guys and planting some seeds. Looks like I have some to harvest too. The veggies are simply bursting to be harvested. Well, thank you for letting me know. Go ahead and plant uh, what we can here next to the sprinkler. That way I don't have to take care of it myself. I might end up making some more sprinklers. I hate that they take up a whole square, but it is what it is. Oh, here we go again. What's she working on this time? What's that you're working on? Oh, would you like to see? It's a communication device. It still has some batteries, so I'm trying to see if I can fix it. What would you use it for? Isn't that obvious? We'll be able to intercept Omen messages with it. When I started looking at the devices they'd leave behind, I realized they look a lot like the tools I used in my time. So I can't say for sure I can get it to work, but just in case. I'm impressed. Doing some electronics? She did mention that she's a prodigy, though. It isn't that impressive. I don't even know if I can fix it yet. Anyway, I'd like to focus on this tonight, if you don't mind. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Let her work. She's in She's in the zone. We'll continue to work here and support her. Got some more seeds in the ground. Going to continue to do some side quests. Looks like Arya might need some more time. It just popped up, up in the corner. Go ahead and, and go through another day. So Take we'll see what there. she comes up with, with this crazy device. I also got some level two sprinklers and of course, it's, uh, it's raining today, so you don't see them at work, which is totally okay. Totally okay. We got some stuff to harvest, and I'm going to spend some time doing some more side quests, get everything harvested here, and see what I can do to make some more gorilla. I'd like to upgrade the farm one more time. I also put out a ton of makers from cheese to dessert. There are a ton of crafting makers that you can make. Jam maker, dessert, smoker, fermenting... The feed makers, flower, there's just so much. And a Cosmo gem I just got from the Chaos Cleaner. Those 
need the quietus materials that you pick up in the quietus dungeon. Let me show you what they look like here. I was, I saw it in the crafting menu and I was like, what is that? So you can put chaos powder and chaos gems in it. And I'm unsure what they're used for yet, but it gave me a Cosmo gem used in crafting and to fortify weapons. This ore is a chaos gem that has had the quietest effect removes from it and emits a mystical glow. Sounds like weapon upgrades. Makes sense. So I'm going to keep putting those in the chaos, chaos control. I'm thinking about Sonic the Hedgehog in the chaos thingy-majig and see what we can make with all of this stuff. I haven't checked to see where we are with upgrading our weapons, bursting to be harvested. but I probably should stop by and, and see what the armor suggests for the next upgrade. I was trying out some new job classes as well, and I'm, I'm still sticking with the mage. I still like that ability to keep some distance. But there are just so many. Don't forget that you can check out all of these different jobs. And it looks like we have still three more to discover. So really, really cool. All types of play styles that you can experience in Harvestella. Morning time. Oh, okay. Maybe she's finished her project. She's still working. Oh my goodness. She didn't take a break. How'd it go? Almost there. I think I just need to turn this thing here and... There. I think it should do it. Set the output to multi-directional. We should be able to catch a signal if they're using something similar. Ooh, do you think we'll get a response? I wonder. The omens might check signals from unknown sources just in case, but... Found... Media tell who we... Actually worked. We got a response. This is evolution. Com type. Communication is unregistered. Confirm your identifier. Our identifier. We don't have one of those. Just names. Does this mean we're speaking with omens right now? Pardon? Did you say omens? Yes, I believe I was quite clear. Some kind of commotion among the omens. What's wrong? If you really are omens, then I have a few questions. That's why I'm sending this transmission in the first place. You're calling us omens. That must mean you're a human, correct? Yep. Then we ask that you return it, and we will forget this ever happened. Nope, this one is mine. It's nothing like yours at all. Do you really expect us to believe that? Why, whatever do you mean? I get it, though. Things have been pretty hectic for us, too. Speaking of rich... Tell us about Geist. Did you say Geist? That's right, and don't play coy. We know everything there is to know already. That includes your goal to use Seas Light for some evil scheme. What's wrong? Lost for words? Allow us to rephrase our question. You know about Geist, correct? That's right. Your friend is responsible for everything awful that's happened. That is classified. Only those with F rank clearance can access it. It is considered morally gray. We cannot overlook the fact that an able has come into possession of such information. Who are you? Oh, regrettable. Oh, you worms hold your way into the castle of illusion. You have no idea who this girl is, do you? Oh boy. He came with reinforcements. It's you. What happened? Who's there? I can't have you meddling anymore. Your existence is far too important to them. Where are you? Oh no, are they gonna take her? <gasps> There's nothing we can do against five of them. Take her away. No! Oh boy, yeah. You were the one loitering around the seas light before. You could struggle against the walls of your cage, but you cannot change the world from inside it. Nothing is achieved without adversity. You must confront the truth with reason. Okay, what's the reasoning for you taking Arya? Or taking her away? Can we catch him? Can we figure out where we're going? Oh, they've got a ship. Oh, no. Cress is here. What's going on? I took Arya. You're going after them? Well, yeah. You can't just leave her. What are they going to do with her? 
It's just like before, you charged in after her all on your own then too. You know how dangerous this is, and I guess it's not enough to dissuade you, is it? Take this with you. A Soma potion. It'll be useful if you're in a pinch. Come back in one piece, understand? Okay. Off we get. How are we gonna get up there? Oh, there's a rope. I see a rope now. Okay. You better climb fast, girl. Whoa, boy. What have we gotten ourselves into? They definitely want her for something. Castle of Illusion? Oh, here we go. Apologies for the unceremonious welcome. I guess by your tone that you don't intend to eat me. So what is it? Where are you taking me? To the root of this false world. Oh, wait. You mentioned something similar the first time we met, right? What is your goal? It's natural you should ask, and I suppose there's no harm in knowing that much. Perhaps then you'll cease your incessant protestations. Excuse me. So far as for my goal... Oh! We're on the bridge! We made it in! Okay, wow, oh wow. Alright. Can we stop the ship? Of course, I probably don't know how to interact with anything. Oh, that reminds me of Prometheus. Interesting. We find a way to get up on the landing strip where they are. Is there any chance that you might join me in my endeavor? Are you kidding? There's no way I'd help with something like that. So he told her something. Let me off the ship. There must be an emergency parachute or something in here. I thought we may be able to negotiate, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh boy. You thought I would let you flee. The Castle of Illusion is already aware of your existence, and not simply allow you to do as you please. Mm. I have no recollection of calling you here. I can see your vigor won't be nothing but a thorn in my side. It was you who destroyed Kierkegaard, correct? And I will crush you here before you meddle in my plans any further. Oh, I'm not ready for a boss battle. Uh, woo! I need to change job classes. Okay, and I don't have... I don't have... Oh my gosh. I don't have Arya to help me this time. Move! Oh wow, he killed me. Two hits. Is that supposed to happen? Pathetic. The Abels truly are such an unrefined species. Whatever. I must take the girl where she needs to go. You will follow no further. Is he gonna throw us from the ship? Goodbye. <gasps> How do we survive that? Oh my goodness. Come, you uncouth scoundrel. Are you alive or are you dead? Quickly now, answer me. Oh, it's the unicorn. We're outside Castle Lewis. You finally awaken. I must say it was quite peculiar of you to fall from that flying contraption. And where's my thanks? Without my illustrious presence, you would have surely per per perished. Per 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 perished! So he saved us from the fall. That hovering dirigible belongs to the omens, does it not? What would they want with Castle Lewis? You don't suppose they're up to something nefarious, do you? Is Castle Lewis the Castle of Illusion? I think we're about to find out. Are they gonna open a portal or something? Oh! Get back here! Just what sort of evil are you planning, you buoyant monstrosity? The princess is in peril. We must hasten to her rescue. Oh, why am I not surprised to see you here? Oh, Ashrika! I heard there was an omen airship circling Castle Lewis. I didn't realize that this would greet me. Perhaps they're occupying the castle to use as a stronghold should they declare war on the humans. Is the capital in danger? I believe so. I ordered the rest of the church to be on guard while I came to investigate. Which is why I hired protection. It seemed he was looking for something to do anyway. Raka? Yep. Hey. Trust you'll fulfill the role I have hired you to do. Yep. You don't need to tell me twice. I was getting pretty tired of hearing everyone spreading rumors about the omens in the capital anyway. Chitola was abuzz with omen rumors this morning as well. Oh, Hein and Emo are here too? You think the people in the castle are okay? 
One can hope. These are omens after all. They don't look too kindly on us humans. Word has it that Princess Little of Castle Lewis is a vision of beauty unparalleled. I could never forgive anyone or anything that should try to injure such elegance. You mean they wish harm to my princess? I will not permit it! We haven't a moment to lose! We have to save Arya. Arya's trapped on that airship too? I won't do it all. In that case, we best remove the omens inside and rescue her, haven't we? Ah, uh, Aisla and Astina? You two came all the way from Nemea! So now we're seeing everybody together? We were at the doctor's in Lathe picking up medicine when we heard. Aisle had to come. Well, I couldn't just stand by when I heard you and Arya had been picked up by an omen airship. Rosalind, it seems we've all been infected by your psychophantic psycho tendencies. Regardless, we can't sit by while Arya is in danger. Let's go help her. She's... he's right. She's always been so kind to me. True. Arya has come to our aid on many an occasion, right, Bracca? Hmm, I'll invoice you for this later, Rosalind. <laughs> seems I'm paying. While I admire everyone's heroic determination, there doesn't seem to be any means of reaching them. Then let us take to the water. These magnificent hooves are good for more than just a good canter. Don't be ridiculous. You do know nobody has ever entered this lake and survived, right? She's right. There are tales of a lord of the lake that devours anyone that falls in. Very well. Well, then this calls for my celestial vessel. Oh. What are we doing? He's praying. Oh, my beloved princess, open a path so we may reach you. You're kidding. He... Oh! That seemed to have worked, or something broke. The stray bullets have let down the drawbridge. Looks like we can cross. My princess was listening. I think that's co coincidence, Sir Unicorn. It's rather intense, wouldn't you say? Or perhaps we're too complacent. Quickly, to Castle Lewis. Oh boy, everybody together? This is so exciting. Oh my gosh! Castle Drawbridge. All right, we've got Aisle and Estina with us. Yay! I love seeing that I'm not by myself. Oh. It's Dianthus. And here I thought the drawbridge had been destroyed, yet you crossed it anyway. I suppose the saying, curiosity killed the cat, means nothing to you. Dianthus. Is that you, Rosalind? You should leave this place. I cannot allow any humans to enter. That includes you. Do not cause any more trouble than you already have. Do you know this omen, Rosalind? You're extraordinarily popular, aren't you? Well met, arrogant omen. You would do well to rid this castle of your presence, for it is the home of my beloved princess. I remember you. That's right, you're from the Lubador. Le Blob, Le Bloratory. So you won't let us pass, and you leave us only one option. She's right, and we can't leave while our friend is being held captive in there. Everybody calm down, please. Mm, bloodthirsty creatures. Rosalind, I owe you my life. Even so, I cannot allow a single human to enter this castle. But why? We just went... The truth found within these castle walls will shatter your already fragile sense of tranquility. The great temple of Pathia, the peace that we have built for you. Truth? What do you mean by that? It is as the word implies. Well, Rosalind, your intelligence is protected by tall walls of common sense. Such a mental framework allows you to live your lives without succumbing to the madness of knowing. We are omens, organisms with objectives unknown, shunned, and oft harmed by humanity. That is the way the world as you know it, and we are content to continue in that fashion. All that intelligence requires is wisdom, not knowledge. You would be happier not knowing what lies on the other side of those walls. But I have said too much. Please, take heed, Rosalind. I'm sorry, Dianthus. We, we ha- we- you took one of us. So that is how you choose to answer. Very well, Rosalind. I will end your existence if that is what it takes to protect your sanity. Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna need the help for this battle. Let the battle commence. Oh, get out of that AoE. So we have no idea what level they are. Or she is, rather. Because we know that Dianthus is a she. We have Aisle and Astina. We actually don't have our full party. Attack. 
Also weak to electric, looks like. This doesn't seem too bad, actually. There is nothing kind about the reality that lies ahead. Deploying outfield. Oh, oh. So from what Dianthus is saying, it sounds like this world was created for humans by the omens or by actually by something that's controlling the omens. And by not knowing the truth, or their people are able to live without questioning how things are, where where things came from. Oh, we've got a break here. We can finish her off. Come on, guys. A couple more hits. There we go. I don't feel that great taking down a friend. I mean, they're only doing what they think will be best for us. Truly wish to continue. To what end? To help our friend. Friend, you mean the human girl that Geist has with him. Very well, you have proven your resolve to me. With it, you may well overcome the fragility of your own hearts and minds. Follow me, Rosalind, to the Castle of Illusion. You would do well to observe why we have given this castle its name. Oh, she's gonna join us now. Wow. So she's in on it. She's re she's She thinks we can handle it. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see what's inside this castle. We'll have to see what's inside Castle Lewis, the Castle of Illusion, in the very next episode. Check out another video from me right here on the screen, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!